Welcome to today's 3D print. You guys saw my little droughty that I printed out before. I decided he needed a little color. So I printed him in 3D Solutech Ultra PLA Yellow. Look how cool that is. It didn't handle the um, multiple, multiple islands as well as the normal PLA, but it did come out. And this was printed on the One Health Duplicator i3. Still stock, no changes. Pretty cool. This is thing number 948565 by BCN3D. I like this critter. He's just neat looking. And I can make him big. You know, that's a pretty big little critter on the one house, which is neat. I still gotta try to make a giant one on the CR10. <laughs> I also printed the Flux Vase by AK Eric, and that is thing number. 617395. I will have links in the description this time for these things. This is also in the 3D Solutech Ultra PLA Yellow. It's like a metallic, silky, more light, less light. This stuff is really cool. It's very, very, well, I want to say brittle, but it's not. The plastic is actually very strong, but it has very poor layer adhesion, so it doesn't stick to itself very well. Meaning, if I were to give this a gentle little squeeze, it'd just come apart. <laughs> Not that easily, but it would come apart. I also did a dragon egg. And this is strong. I can give this a nice squeeze, and there's it, 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 no creaking. When you build something with structure and layers and shape and mass, it tends to be pretty strong. But if you have a lot of um, extensions and stuff like that, not so good. Um, but it's so beautiful, it's worth it. I mean, I, I keep a, an extra roll of each of their colors on hand because it's such a nice looking plastic. And I believe that is all I got in the Flux Yellow, or the, um, that material. So, that's all for today. I'm going to make a separate video for my next model because it deserves its own video. <laughs> oh, uh, nope, that's the next video.